Council Chair and Members, I'm Sina Clauser. I'm a resident of Waikiki. Um, I stayed in IHS for one year, and I would like to tell people what IHS offers. IHS offers uh, bed bugs, we know, <laughs> not fumigation, if we understand the word correctly. I don't think the director does. Um, IHS offers uh, the, uh, the uh, mandate that you never call the ambulance. If you see a friend have a grand mal seizure on the premises, if you see a friend overdose, if you know that a person has taken all of her Vicodin and has told you so, we are to wait for staff to call. And on one occasion, I believe one of our friend's lives was saved because the staff thought if her liver wasn't working, she would not be able to talk or semi-walk. And the women saved her life. And I was there a year, and I, these women, drug addicted, sex workers, whatever they had to do to survive, parolees on probation, I, my hat is off to all of them. But you do not go through this experience unscathed. I mean, I, I don't sleep through the night. I don't want my worst enemy to stay there. The first principle of ethics is first do no harm. They have failed. Why, are, why, are, why is this institution which lies to the public about IDs, about um, verification of homeless letters that you need through a, a certain social work agency, you don't just show up there and get in. I got in my second time, second attempt a year later. I, I think there's just distrust between the members and the residents of IHS because they are not forthcoming and you have to play the game, and every single rule is broken. This idea that what doesn't happen on the streets doesn't happen at IHS is completely false. Prescription pills, I was so green, I never seen, had seen it before. Pills are sold, bought, and traded on premises every day. I've seen women and friends do sex work mm -hmm. to pay their fees. Good point, IHS, if they can get, um, you know, to pay their fees, if, if they can, you know, do sex work for drugs, they might as well do sex work for, for fees. But that's what I'm calling it. Because I saw it. I, I gave a friend some money, and I would do it again. Because she was going to be kicked out, and she was on probation. And violating the rules of um, probation would mean that if, if she had been exited, she would have been back to, to jail or prison. So um, I've seen suicide attempts, it is, it is a place where people are in despair. It is a place where people who are severely mentally ill and drug addicted and active in their lifestyles are mixed with children. There are people who the staff had to bathe, who had issues of blood. It's not uncommon to sit on premises or to stand on urine or blood and have to tell the staff, this is a biohazard. Hep C is pretty... Um, alive even after three weeks and a lot of those stuff were so great and were so wonderful and I don't think they're paid enough but I have no patience for people I have no patience for for the officials because it's it's just it's it's misleading and I don't think they meet the bar of first doing no harm I don't think they can take care of the ones that they've already got in their housing and I did not get out through their services, by the way. I, I actually think most don't. Thank you. Members, any questions? Thank you very much.